guys it's strawberry Ellie here and welcome back to another video it is 7 30 a.m. right now and I'm about to hit the gym and like take a small quick morning swirl well I always do and then we just pack up all the things we still have in our apartment and then we head off to the airport and fly to Bangkok now that's Today is our last half day, I would say, in Chiang Mai. I'm really sad about to leave Chiang Mai, but I'm really excited about everything which is ahead of me. So I thought I'm going to take you with you today, show you everything I eat and what I'm doing. And I hope you have fun with it. I hope you enjoy it. And let's just jump right into the video. And I'm going to show you what I bring with me on the plane. So guys, before I go to the gym, I'm just going to show you everything I'm going to take with me today on the plane. I'm obviously not eating that all probably for breakfast because we are planning to go out for dinner. But you always should bring more than you think you will eat. So we have these like gorgeous looking, well gorgeous, <laughs> they look a bit, you know, wrinkly and stuff. But that's how I like them, they're really ripe. And some really, really ripe bananas. They're already black, but that's just from the sun. They're really sweet and delicious. I'm gonna miss these Thai bananas so, so much. I don't know if I can eat Cavendish bananas when I get back. Like, I have no idea. And then I have this mango because, yeah, well, just just have a Nam Dok Mai mango just like to end this Thailand trip, you know, um, whatever. And. That, so I'm gonna have probably have dragon fruit for breakfast, a few of these, and Evan is going to take his lunch. He has some sweet potatoes steamed up. He just bought them at the store. These are um, Japanese Okina, I think, sweet potatoes. They're purple, as you can see. And also he steamed up some vegetables in the rice cooker, and he's going to bring that for lunch. And that's how you can see how easy and quick it is to take vegan food with you on the plane. It's just really to take with you. And I took dragon foods because they are not like they don't get squished. And they're really easy to eat on the go. So that's everything we take with us. That moment when you finish the workout and you're about to have a dip in this awesome pool to cool down. Yes. <laughs> We're vlogging here. Dude. I'm squishing Ellie into a pancake. Hey guys, <laughs> just chilling in here before we leave to go to the airport. So guys, sorry for the lighting, but we are about to leave the apartment now and head off to the airport. So let's go. I have my big bag here, I have my bag in front of me, <laughs> and I have my ball actually, yeah. I'm taking my ball. So let's go. Bye
hard it took us like one and a half more than one and a half hours to go through the traffic it's just insane how much traffic there is here and i'm a bit tired to be honest we're just like chilling here on the bed and like then we go out and go out to dinner to the restaurant i'm really excited to show you there and yeah so that's it <laughs> <laughs> we made it to the restaurant. It's called Rasayana and it's a, actually a raw vegan restaurant. It's 100% raw and I'm really excited to order here. I haven't been in a raw food restaurant since Bali, so yeah, let's order some delicious food. that's it for today's vlog the food from the restaurant was insanely good i can't wait to go back tomorrow so stay tuned for part two of my bangkok adventures and i hope you enjoyed that video subscribe to me my channel if you want to see more videos from me and follow me on my social media platforms and i see you soon in my next video guys have a good day bye <laughs>